In this video, we will install JetBackup on a cPanel server. JetBackup is a remote backup software that you can purchase from JetBackup.com. JetBackup software costs $5.95 USD per month. You can find the installation instruction at serverok.in slash JetBackup. Let's log into the server. Let's check the version of operating system we are using. CAT ETC star release. We are using Cloud Linux 8.5. To install JetBackup on a cPanel server, you need to run these commands. Copy the command and run on the terminal. Press Y. Now the JetBackup repo is installed. Next you need to run yum clean all. After that, you can install JetApps with the command you may install JetApps. Press Y again, press Y. Next, we can run JetApps minus minus install JetApps 5 cPanel stable. Now, the JetBackup 5 cPanel package is installed. Let's log into WHM. For that, enter the command whm login. Copy the unique URL. Visit the URL in the browser. Click on advanced. Accept the risk and continue. Now, if you scroll down, you will see JetBackup 5 under plugins. Click on JetBackup 5. Let's agree to the terms and conditions. Click on I agree those terms. This is a new installation. So click on new installation. Are you sure you want to exit disaster recovery mode? Click OK. We need to keep the encryption key safe. This is required if you need a full server restore on a different server. Click on finish. The next step is add a backup destination. You can click on this logo to see the menus. Click on destinations. Click on create new destination. Here destination is for select a backup. Destination type from the drop down select SSH via JetTap repository. Now it will ask you to install SSH destination support. Click on install now. It is asking for confirmation. Click OK. Let's take the SSH terminal and log into the backup server. The command is SSH minus P SSH port number root at the rate IP address of the backup server. I have passwordless authentication set up, so we are logged into the server. Go to slash directory. Here we will create a directory for the backup. The service hostname is server46.hostonet.com. We will use the same for the folder name. So let's create a folder mkdir. Folder name is hostname of the server that we will be backing up. Let's go to the folder. Let's go back to the WHM. Here, destination name. Let's enter remote backup. B24, this is the backup server name. Read only, you should select no. Owner root. Free disk space limit. Keep the default value 95%. Backup directory. Here, you need to enter the directory we created. Copy and paste. That is slash server46.hostonet.com. Here you need to enter the IP address of backup server. This is the IP address. Copy the IP and paste it here. Next, the SSH port. We are using non-standard port 3333. So copy it and paste it here. Next, the username we will be used to log into the backup server. It is root. Next, we have two options. Authentication type, private key or password, we will be using private key. Let's see if the private key is available on this server. Path to the private key. Let's see if a private key is available in the cPanel server. cd.ssh ls-l. You can see that we have a id.rsa. This is the private key. And this is id underscore rsa.pub. It is the public key. Let's try log into the backup server from the cPanel server. Enter the SSH command. 
it is asking for fingerprint verification accept the fingerprint now it is asking for the password we need to set key based login that is we should be able to login without entering any password for that what you need to do is copy the content of id underscore rsa dot pub file cat id underscore rsa dot pub copy the content of the file you need to paste it inside authorized keys file in the backup server vi slash root dot ssh authorized keys edit this file go to the end of the file let's add a comment this key is for server 46 dot host on net dot com this is a host name of the server we will be taking backup let us paste the key below this is the ssh key save the file and exit for that press escape then colon then w for write and q for quit now we have added the public key of the cpanel server in the authorized keys file in the backup server let's see if we can log into the server without password run the ssh command again ssh minus p the ssh port 3333 then root at the rate ip address of the backup server press enter we are logged into the backup server using key authentication let's exit the backup server enter the command exit press enter we are back on the cpanel server the location of the private key is slash root dot ssh folder this is the key file private key file copy it and you need to enter it here slash root dot ssh then id underscore rsa connection timeout 60 is the default rsync bandwidth limit you can set a limit for the backup we set it unlimited the default value rsync prefer ipv4 slash ipv6 we will use the default click on save we have a backup destination available here enable the jb config for that click on this toggle to see more details about the remote backup server click on the name of the server you will see more details here next we need to create a backup job click on backup jobs click on create new backup job let's enter a name daily backup job owner is root destination click on the plus add destination button select the remote backup server S click on select destination now you can see the backup server here and backup will contain panel config and everything everything is checked here backup structure is incremental account filters by default all account will be backed up in case you need specific accounts you can use filters directories and files to exclude we can specify some directories files here that we don't need to take backup click on this link to see some of the default directories and file names you can exclude here are some recommended files and folders to exclude let's copy this list of files and folders copy it click on insert multiple here you can paste it click on ok you will see everything added here if you don't want any of this you can press the x icon next you need to set a schedule schedule will decide when a backup will be taken let's create a new schedule for that click on add new schedules let's name it daily backup from the schedule type select daily if you want you can take a hourly backup in this case we only need daily backup select every day of the week next backup retain we can select number of days the backup should be kept i need 14 days backup enter 14 friday is not selected let us select that too now the software will take backup every day and every 14 days backups older than 14 days will get deleted click on ok notify me if there is no backup for one day notify me if backup runs more than two days you can modify this as required click on save now we have destination and backup jobs added backup will be taken every day and 14 days backup will be retained you can go to the dashboard to see the stats first backup will be taken after 24 hours to force run a backup we can go to the backup jobs here is the backup job click on it and you can run the backup run backup job now now the backup job is started thank you for watching hope you find the video useful if you like the video please subscribe for more videos like this